Okay, so I am going to repot my aloe vera plant. As you can see, she is absolutely massive. And just because of the way I've taken care of her, she's been able to grow so fast and produce these wonderful aloe pups that are growing at a rapid speed. So um, I have to take it out of this pot now, put her into this pot. So, yeah, so you just have to gently, gently squeeze the soil off the roots. You have to be very careful as you're doing this because they're kind of really, it's sort of really embedded into each other. And she's a big, she's a big girl, as you can see. Um, yeah, she's got her roots, oh my goodness. Absolutely amazing. So you have to be very careful as you do it. As you can see, the roots are here. My daughter and I are going to be using parts of Mummy for things like our hair and face cleansing. Massage. You kind of have to wait for the for the for the plant for your plant to get dry, so you're not doing it when it's moist. So by the time you've gotten rid of all the soil, you should be able to see where the pups and the mum the mum's roots are. So this is where we've gotten so far, as you can see. We've got the roots here. Yeah? Right, well, as you can see, I do have a very healthy, very, very, very healthy mummy aloe vera plants here. Um, and so now it's time for me to cut off the pups. Um, so you do have to be quite careful um when you're cutting the pups but don't be scared to give it a good a good cut okay so i've managed to get this one off and i've managed to get that one off as well so we're going to plant these two and we're going to leave mummy here to grow we're going to be cutting two of these off for hair and for skincare and then we're gonna now repot them so you definitely need to get the right compost to repot your aloe vera plant and um you want the cactus succulent and bonite bonsia special plant compost okay because these, these plants tend to live in drier conditions so they i guess you can use um multi-purpose um, soil but it's best to get the right one okay so i'm going to get potting like i said i'm going to put the little ones in here so i'm going to do that one first and put the little ones in here and the big ones going to go in. okay so as you can see i've had some root casualties but there's you're always going to have a few that come off because it is a dry plant and when you're handling you know the plant you're going to get a few casualties but yeah so we're going to repot mummy now and we're going to fill this pot up Dig a hole in the pot. Just gonna fill up halfway first, and then just kind of dig a hole. And we're gonna get mummy. We're gonna put mummy in. We're gonna cover her roots up. We're gonna. Oh, yeah. 
in the pot. Now we have to remember that aloe vera reproduces very, 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 very well. And so once you've done that, and then you just press. So that your plant feels solid, you can leave it and you can stand. Um, and it can stand for itself. Continue to fill the soil. Bit of a messy job, but you know, you've got to just keep going. Okay. Right. So there you go. Okay. So it's repotted. She's standing nice and solid by herself. You shake it. She's secure. She's not just going to tip over like the two really big ones. I'm going to cut them off um, to use for personal care. Uh, yeah, and that's all you have to do. And then um, I will water her uh, once every two weeks. I will give her water once every two weeks. And yeah, hopefully the pups grow. Um, they're kind of over there. <laughs> Down there somewhere. Uh, hopefully they grow and then the other two as well. So yeah, happy with that. Okay, and that's it. So aloe vera plant repotted, mum's repotted, and we've got baby one and baby two both repotted. So yeah, guys, that's uh that's the main thing. If you like this video, um, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to see more content like this, um, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you have an aloe vera plant and you've been planting aloe vera for a long time, let's chat. You can teach me a thing or two as well. Um, and also, if you're new to this, um, like I said, aloe veras are um, plants, they reproduce a lot. Um, and you can I can have this mother plant and she will continue to have pups and you know the table could literally be full of aloe vera plants um but yes so thank you for watching and see you next time